Hello everybody, my name is Luchar and this is Eco Global Survival, my single player Let's Play. We are getting near the end, uh, there's probably only a few episodes left, but we do have a few things we need to do yet. Uh, I think in today's episode we're going to learn uh, Advanced Masonry. It's only three skills we have left that we could possibly learn. Paper milling, which I've been given to learn, or I've been told doesn't do much, it's no point taking it. Same with cutting edge cooking, just at this point in early access, neither of these skills really do anything. Um, so the only other skill that we don't have is advanced masonry. We have every other skill. So today we're going to learn advanced masonry. Awesome. We can use this advanced masonry table. Of course, the thing is we can't use it right now because our average room tier is too low. So I have two options. I can either, uh, redo this room or I can move the table. I was, I'm thinking it'd be easier to move the table. I'm going to move the table probably into uh, my fancy workshop over here with the composite wood. Uh, so, yeah, so we'll put it in here. But I'm also going to need more stores, so I'm going to have to put a large lumber stockpile here is the plan. So I'll have to clear up some space here, uh, cut down some trees, and then I'm going to have to obviously put some more uh, land here because those stockpiles are 12 by 12, and this is only two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need to go out like four more, and then I need to go over here. So yeah, one, one, two, three, maybe four trees I'm gonna have to cut down, but that's not a big deal. So we'll do that. We'll get ready. Uh, then we'll learn advanced masonry, and then we will make some of these fancy uh, building materials and see how they look, just so people can see. You know, I'm not the greatest builder. <laughs> we all know that. I'm a uh, form over function. Or sorry, function over form. I am not form over function. But we'll make we'll make some of this fancy furniture, make some of these fancy uh, blocks. We'll see how they look, and then at that point, all we really have left to do is shoot down the meteor. So that may be today in this episode. That may be the next episode. We'll probably get started on it today, though. Oh, you're still alive, so I guess I don't have to pick you up. All right, so that's the plan. So I'm going to get started on uh, going to get this stockpile down first. And then we'll go from there. All right. So I got the uh, new large lumber stockpile down here. I moved over the table. You can see it through the window there. So we're going to have to move over uh, all the type, types of things that are needed for this, which is mortar. Steel we already have. Um, it looks like we need mortar. We're going to need some ashlar stone, which we can make. Uh, we'll have to move over some raw. Well, we're going to make a lot of ashlar shale. This is what's going to happen. We'll uh, we'll do some of the other ones just so that we can see how they look. Um, but we're mostly going to work with shale since we have so much shale lying around. But before we do any of that, uh, we might as well learn advanced masonry. <laughs> that would be kind of step one. Let's see what's needed for that. We need five of any modern. No, sorry, five of any advanced. Five of any base or fifteen of any basic, so we don't need any modern, or we don't. Well, maybe some of these are modern. Yeah, engineering modern. That's what. Okay, that's all that. Uh, all those iron things. So we might have to make some more of those. No, we only need five though, right? Five metallurgy modern. How tough is that? Which one is that? Steel and some rebar. So we're gonna have to make. Some rebar or move some rebar. I don't know if I have any made down at the smeltery. I'll have to check. Geology modern and geology advanced. Geology modern is brick. I have some brick. I just got to bring them over. And we need some mortared stone. Okay. So we're going to have to move some stuff around to do most of those. Uh, I guess we can get started on these. So we're going to need more. We have enough axles but we're gonna need more plates and more gears so we'll go queue those up and uh, we'll start moving some stuff around and we will be back shortly quick uh, self advertisement here uh, there's probably only one maybe two episodes left of this series after this one I will at some point in the near future be doing another series but it'll be multiplayer I'm hoping to play with my viewers so if that interests you at all, please join uh, my Discord. The link's in the description down below. We already have, I think, four or five people interested. Obviously, we'd like to get a few more so we can, you know, the more the merrier. 
as far as I see it. And of course, if you're enjoying this video, please like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. Thank you. Advertisement over. Things how I knew I was going to need a bunch of steel to make the Ashlar stuff. I came down to the smeltery, queued up some steel. I brought a bunch of coal down to make some steel. I loaded up some steel and some limestone to bring up to make Ashlar stuff with. You know, I'm doing my thing, doing all that. And then I look over and like, okay, and maybe I'm crazy. And absolutely let me know in the comments. But did I not leave the skid steer parked right here? And it's just not there anymore. Oh, meteor update. 21 days, 16 hours. But yeah, skid steer is just gone. Did it fall in the water? Like, can I even see the polluted water? Nope, it's not in the water. I don't know what happened. I don't understand. It's just gone. I, I can walk through here, so it's not like it's just not rendering. I don't know. Did it, I don't understand. So I'm going to just log out to the title screen and log back in and see if it if it renders back in if not i guess we'll uh i guess we'll have to make another skid steer i didn't accidentally put it in storage or anywhere did i i don't i don't understand i mean i know i put the excavator into storage but i could have swore i left the skid steer parked right here all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna log out title screen and uh then i'll come back and hopefully the skid steer is back <laughs> so i logged back in and the skid steer was there so yeah it was just bugged somehow that was weird like it just completely wasn't rendering it like not only visually but i could literally walk right through it anyway <laughs> at least i don't have to worry about that being an issue i do have a skid steer so i guess i will go uh go <laughs> go back up I was going to grab something else while I was down here, but I forget what it was. Oh, I have a bunch of mortar. Don't... Ugh. This truck, it, it's bigger. Like, it holds more than the steam truck. But I find the steam truck just handled it just a little bit better. I got a bunch... Of, I put a bunch of mortar. Set up mortar and chests uh, upstairs. And I couldn't access it with my truck, so I had to move them down to this stockpile. Just so I could throw them in my truck. Where's my truck? There it is. All right. So I'm gonna go. Uh, I got a lot of this research done. Let's go. Let's just go check on that. Get an update. It's not all done. There's still a few things that I need to do. I forget which ones they are though. Yeah. Take the turn. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just. I mean, I guess I could go through person probably be a little better, but I find. Especially when you when you don't have a load in, it's really easy to see. But when you have a load in, it doesn't go far enough back. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just a bad driver. Well, I know I'm a bad driver. <laughs> but that's definitely not helping anything. Right, so let's unload everything here. And let's pop in. Check on our research over here. I know I had a lot of it done. For advanced masonry, but not all of it. So we still need, so that's all done. So we need two geology advanced. Oh, what was that? That was the uh, mortared stone, I think, right? Yeah, I had to go make some more of those, but I did. So that's done. So I still need any 10 basics or any 15, no, any 15 basic. So for basic, probably geology would be the best bet. Use up some of this uh, shale I have laying around. Right, so once that's done, I believe we'll be able to make advanced masonry, which is 15 minutes plus 8 minutes here. So we're looking at 23 minutes. So that's going to be a while. So I'm just going to go, uh, I might go down. I might I might kill this buffalo. It doesn't frig off. I might go down mine some more iron. So we'll see. I'll go down to the smelter and check. But I'm going to move some more stuff over here so that we're ready to make stuff uh, at this table when the time comes so i'll probably bring up some base salt i don't have any genese nice i don't know how to say it but i mean i know there's some near where i have the gold mine like it's just below a little bit uh, but yeah i think everything else bring up a little bit of sandstone bring up some granite 
And we should be able to make pretty much everything here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna move some stuff around, do a bit of mining, uh, go see why my dogs are barking, and uh, and I'll be back. So I'm in my truck here. I was finally gonna make this ramp wider. Like I hauled that out a long time ago. So I took the, I have the asphalt now, and I was gonna just back the truck in and go from there. But oh, the truck doesn't fit. So I'm gonna have to raise the roof. Yeah, raise the roof. That's right. A little bit and then i'll be able to get the truck in but i guess i could start uh whoops no oh, that works i could start on this now i could also replace these but i think i'm fine with just using normal ramps for most of it it's a lot to replace i don't know if i'm down here enough to really need to replace the whole thing you know what i mean but i, I want to get it wider because it's annoying trying to get down here you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna go like this. I'm gonna do the do every first one. Oh, need to dig that out a little more. Do every first one, then go down, do every third one, then go down, do every second one. I don't know, is this really easier? <laughs> Probably not. Why am I still in third person? I'm gonna be honest, I am not a fan of third person in this game. If you like it, that's cool. I'm not hating. It's just not for me. All right, so I'm going to finish this ramp, and then the plan is I'm going to bring the skid steer down. I'm going to make enough space so that I can make a stockpile down there, and then, uh, oops. And then I'm just going to leave the skid steer down there, I think, is, my, is going to be the plan. So let's see now if I can get this all the way in. Oh, that was a tight squeeze, but it looks like it fits. All right, so that works. All right, so that's the plan. I will be back when I have that accomplished. All right, so the uh, widening of the ramp project is complete. I have a five wide the whole way down. I can get the truck down. I can get the skid steer down. Speaking of which, they are both down here right now. Uh, I was going to make a stockpile to use with the skid steer, but I think it just makes more sense to use the truck. So, like, let's back the truck up a little bit here. So what I want to do is I get, in the skids, get in the skid steer... Uh, you know, fill up the bucket of the skid steer. Get some iron. Come on, get some iron. There we go. That's what we wanted. Oh, yeah, look at that sweet, sweet iron. So go until the bucket's full, which I'm not going to do right now because it'll take too long. Uh, and then if I get out, I may have to back the truck up some, but should be able to just go right from the skid steer to the back of the truck, right? I don't need a stockpile step there. I should probably get these out of the way, otherwise my skid steer is going to be stuck. But, anyway, that's the uh, logic behind <laughs> what, I, what I was thinking. What I wanted to do by bringing the skid steer, and just leave it down here because my other mines aren't set up for the skid steer right now. Like, I can't. The ramps aren't. I would have to build more ramps to get a skid steer down the other mines. And if I, if I ever do that, and I... I probably won't because it's probably not really necessary. I'd probably just build an extra skid steer and leave them down there. So this skid steer now lives here. This is your new home. Uh, so I'm actually, I'm going to grab a little bit more iron while I'm here. I might as well make the trip worthwhile. And then I'm going to go up and grab uh, the advanced masonry skill book should be done. So we'll grab that. Uh, we'll learn that. And we will uh, start uh, making the cool stuff with that and take a look at it. All right. We have advanced masonry skill book right here so let's grab a scroll boom it has been discovered don't need you so let's learn it La well not the last skill because they're still paper milling and uh cutting age cooking i think it is but those don't really do anything uh, i mean maybe i'll maybe i'll learn them and check but I, i've read they don't really do anything anyway we have advanced masonry. All right, so let's pop over here and just queue up a bunch of uh, bunch of stuff. Basically, oh, I haven't brought any granite over yet, right? I have, I have lots of limestone. I have lots of sandstone. I have lots of shale. I haven't over brought over any granite yet or basalt. I don't have much basalt around, but I mean, I can get some. I know where there's some. So let's queue up. Uh, 
10 of these. Well, it's 10 minutes just for 10 of those. So we're just going to do 10 of each. Because that's, that's a lot of work. Oh, we don't have a module in this yet. Do I have any advanced or uh, modern whatever modules kicking around still? I think I do. Right here? Yeah. I, I'm assuming it uses modern upgrades. There, so that should... Oh, it didn't cut the time. And I didn't cut the time. What if I cancel it? I'm going to wait for the minute to be up. Cancel this one, though. We don't get the calories back, eh, when we cancel? That's interesting. Actually, it'll probably, when this ticks over, it'll, it'll go down to four and a half minutes. Or five, whatever minutes, I think. Yeah, okay. So I shouldn't have canceled <laughs> the sandstone one. All right, so I'm going to grab some more food, since that took up a lot of my calories. And I'll queue up some more of those. And uh, I will come back when they're done. Oh, and uh, one other thing I just want to mention. Somebody asked in a video uh, a couple days ago what this blue circle was. Because I'm always mousing over in this nutrition circle. But I've never... It's been a long time since I really talked about this. So this is the housing value XP modifier. So the four different colors. There's four different rooms. Your bathroom. Your general. Uh, might be your kitchen and your bedroom. And I'll be honest. I've been neglecting this because I don't need it anymore. I literally have all the skills. Um... But what it does is, obviously, the more fancy furniture you have, the higher grade materials have for walls and ceilings. And the more furniture um, of high value, obviously, the higher this will get. Um, and you'll notice, like, this room is soft capped because of materials, because it's still tier one. So, like, my kitchen is not tier one, right? But my other rooms are. So they're capped. But I just haven't bothered to switch them over because it's it's a lot of work. Um, and, you know, I'm playing by myself. It's single player. So these rooms are soft capped. Um, but if I wanted to switch them over to higher grade materials, I could get a much higher XP bonus. So that's what this blue circle is. Um, and I will, once we get some of this fancy Ashlar stuff, we will drop it in and you will see this. This 216 is the number um, of this. This is the pie chart representation of 216. You, that number will go up when we put in this fancy Ashlar furniture, especially if we put it in the kitchen because the kitchen doesn't have that cap. But anyway, we will come back for that shortly. So I just brought the truck over to the copper mine. I just wanted to grab some granite and base salt to make uh, some Ashlar stuff out of. So that's why I'm here. Uh, it was really fun backing the truck up on this three wide road. Tons of fun. Last. So <laughs> when I was in the iron mine, I said I couldn't get the skid steer into the copper mine. This is what I'm talking about. The ramp doesn't go all the way down. So I, I don't know. I mean, maybe if I just drove it in, it would, it would land on its feet. Or it doesn't have feet. It's a, it's a vehicle. Wheels, tires, whatever. Uh, so yeah, so I'd have to build more ramps in order to get here, but honestly, I don't think I'm going to need any more copper, so it's not a big deal. But that's what I was talking about. I just wanted to point that out. And when I was driving, I actually, I almost went off the road. Oh, what am I stuck on now? Oh, <laughs> gonna have to expand up there. Because I got down because I didn't have anything in the truck when I came in. <laughs> Makes sense, I guess. All right, now will it let me out? Nope, still stuck. <laughs> this is less than ideal. Now will it let me out? I feel like I should be good now. I can't go back or forward. Oh, this is... This is swell. I feel like I should be able to go back. Or forward. <laughs> shouldn't I? I shouldn't be stuck still, I feel like. Alright, I'll try this again. 
What am I stuck on? Is that making me stuck? Oh, maybe. Maybe it was. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, yeah, so when I was coming down, <laughs> I, like, I snagged on, like, a tree branch, and it almost jerked me right off the road. It was that tree, so I cut it down because I was angry. Anyway, just wanted to explain what I was talking about with the skid steer and not being able to get it into the other mines. Oh, advanced cooking level 7. Nice. So I can make some new modules over there. All right, so we will move these, move this granite, move this basalt. So now we can queue up some basalt and granite as well. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to go grab any... Whoa, hello there. Any nice, nice, but however you say that or not. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. So we'll just queue up 10 of this. And we'll queue up 10 of this. I'm going to go make some advanced cooking modules. And I will come back when these are done and we will take a look at them. All right. So the advanced masonry table has done its thing. We got uh, five different types of uh, ash layer. Got granite, basalt, limestone, shale, and sandstone. So let's uh, let's just take a look here. See what this stuff looks like. Well, that looks cool. I mean, it's pretty plain, but that's still pretty cool. I mean, that's just a cube. I'm sure. Oh, there's a lot of different things we can do with this. A lot of different. Oh, upside down stairs. Look at all the different roof options we have. Well, not even roofs. I guess they're just slopes, right? Brace, under brace. Look at all this stuff. Got windows, walls, roofs, floors, flat roof. What's this full wall look like? Okay, just got that little brace on the side there. So the wall looks an awful lot like the cube. <laughs> what else do we have? What's this? Flat roof. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's some pretty stuff right there. What about the floor? Oh, that's nice too. All right, yeah, this is pretty fancy stuff. I mean, I'm not much of a builder, but for somebody who is, I'm sure they could really get into this. Oh, yeah, look at that. It looks like, I mean, I know it's limestone, but it looks like marble. That's pretty cool. Hi, Meteor. 21 days, 15 hours. Soon enough, my Meteor friend. Oh, I bet this base all looks cool. Oh, yeah, does it ever. What else have we got here? What's the wall look like? The actual wall. Yeah, it's pretty basic, but that's cool. Roof cube, nice. Okay. I can dig that. What else we got here? Windows. Oh, look at the windows. I like the window frame. That's awesome. And this makes me want to actually maybe build stuff. <laughs> Turn me into a builder. All right, we'll just take a look at this one here right quick. And then, uh... oh, yeah, look at that. Nice. The old roof corner. Oh, what's... oh look at this pillar. Oh, that's awesome. Well, if I ever decide to just be a builder, I know what I'm going to use. It's going to be some of this ash ladder stuff for sure. All right, well, that's pretty cool. All right, so we got we to gotta look at it. But this video is uh, starting to run pretty long. So I'm going to end it here. Uh, in the next episode, we are going to uh, we're gonna take a look at some of this ash ladder furniture, which we didn't do yet. Obviously, I'm going to pull all that stuff down as well. So we'll make some of this furniture. This stuff here, of course. See how that looks, uh, which will give us some more experience so we can get some of this. So I'm going to just make some more. Make some more shale here. Well, that is too much, actually. All right, and then after that, really the only thing left to do is going to be laser time. The real problem with the lasers is the power, so realistically it's going to be 
gonna be wind turbine time basically but that's gonna be in the next episode which might be the last one honestly there's gonna be other one or two more episodes and that's gonna be it until we do our multiplayer one together and but that'll be probably two weeks from when this one ends so if you're interested join the discord links in the description down below if you enjoyed this video please leave a like subscribe if you haven't already follow me on twitch follow me on twitter have a good day be good to each other and i'll see you in the next one